breaking, Julian Assange shocks media with Russia hacking revelation. Russiagate as the left likes to call this ridiculous conspiracy theory is the greatest witch hunt of all time. Democrats hurl accusation after accusation without ever providing any evidence of their claims. A close associate of Julian Assange, Craig Murray, is blowing this conspiracy theory out of the water. Murray says it was a leak, not a hack, and that the agencies that are supposedly investigating the Russian hacking have never contacted him or even looked at the hacked servers, via Washington Times. This is one of the most ridiculous crazes the mainstream media has ever engaged in. That's why outlets like CNN and the New York Times have lost all credibility with the general public. Craig Murray is the former UK ambassador to Uzbekistan. He's also a stalwart defender of whistleblowers and is closely tied to Julian Assange and Wikileaks. Murray maintains what we real patriots know Wikileaks obtained the damning DNC emails via a leak, not a hack. In fact, it was Murray himself who received the package from a disgruntled DNC worker. Murray doesn't drop a name, but we all know who it was. His name was Seth Rich, and the DNC had him killed for taking a stand against Democrat corruption. The funny thing is this. Democrats have never expressed any interest in investigating Murray in order to get to the bottom of the published emails. They want to keep promoting the lie that it was a hack by the Russians. As Murray points out, I could tell them these were leaks, not hacks. Why collects? The clue is in the name, via Craig Murray. They the Democrats, the media, and the intelligence agencies supposedly investigating don't want to be told the truth. Murray has never been contacted to participate in investigations, despite his close ties to Julian Assange. What evidence is there for Russian hacking? Then? Nothing. Murray emphasizes what the media conveniently ignores. Throughout all of this hacking hysteria, the DNC has continually refused to turn over their servers to the FBI, the NSA, and the Department of Homeland Security. The NSA could trace the packets of hacked information and pinpoint the exact time the hackers retrieved data. The DNC doesn't want that. They've been completely uncooperative. The evidence on which this entire conspiracy theory is based is a report by the Clinton-aligned cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike says there are footprints of Russian hacking, but these can easily be faked. The community of intelligence agencies have simply taken CrowdStrike's word for it without conducting investigations of their own. In short, there is no serious effort to investigate the supposed hacking. It's all propaganda to damage Trump. The left knows it's fiction, but they'll peddle it for as long as they can to further their agenda. Trump is going to beat them all. Our president is infinitely smarter than all these deep state actors put together. Boycott the media to cut their influence. Spread the truth to everyone you know. Help President Trump drain the cesspool that is Washington, D.C. Should the DNC give over its servers to the government to prove once and for all that there was no Russian hack? Share this story on Facebook and let us know your thoughts because we want to hear your voice.